Good, welcome you guys back to my channel, Nene Blogs. So today I'm making my 2017 favorite book video. So these are all my favorites for the year 2017 and I had a really good reading year last year. I read 51 books and most of them were so good. I was so impressed with like all the books that I read last year and it was so difficult to decide on my favorites. But I did. I got 13 units of books. <laughs> um, I'm saying units because half of them are standalones and then half of them are two books or three books or eight books of a series. <laughs> I can never decide on my favorite book in a series. I've decided to just tell you guys which were my favorite series of the year. Um, yes, so I have about 13 units of books to show you guys. Um, before we start, I just want to say most of these books didn't actually come out in the year 2017. It's just what I read in the year 2017. Um, but some of them did come out last year. And also, this video is not in any particular order, um, they're just a mix of all my favorite books of 2017. So, let's get into the video! Oh no, oh no, did you just... Mm. So let me start with one of my favorite favorites. <laughs> um, it is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This book really impressed me. It has a lot of genres packed in one. I think it's a sci-fi. It's set in a futuristic world and in this world everyone kind of lives on this game called the Oasis and it's kind of a virtual world where you literally live there. You can go to school there. You get so much information there. All the books in the world is on this game. The person that made this game actually died and he hid like three keys and gates around the game for the people playing the game to find these keys and um, gates and it's very very well hidden and I don't know how long it's been but I think 10 or more years and um, no one has found these keys and he left all his money and his whole game to the person that found these easter eggs. We start this book off with this main character called Wade Watts and he found the first key. This book was very very suspenseful. It was so much fun to be in this character's perspective and playing the game with him and also the characters that he met were so interesting. It was fun to live in this world for a while. I really recommend this book. It is so one of my favorites. Yeah, I loved it so much. The next books that I'm going to show you is the last two books of a series and it's the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children um, series by Ransom Riggs. The last two books were Hollow City and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. I read these two books in the year 2017 and I loved them so much. I was so impressed with the second book even because um, I've heard that a lot of second books aren't as good as the first and you're always disappointed with them but this book impressed me so much and this one as well and I felt like the whole story and the whole trilogy was just wonderful. The story follows this boy who gets wrapped up into this new world where he meets people that have very different peculiarities and he has to kind of find out how he plays in this world. Brilliantly written. I loved the series so much. Um, if you guys haven't read it, you have to read it. Then my first classic favorite is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This was a very quick read. I didn't like the introduction, so don't read the introduction if you want a quick read. Um, but the, re the book was just wonderful. It was very fantastical. I don't know if that's a word. I'm pretty sure this follows this guy who come, who's new to the neighborhood and he's um, neighbor is the Great Gatsby and the Great Gatsby has these parties every Friday night and they're very extravagant and um, one day he goes to the parties and he meets the Great Gatsby and he finds out more about his life and it's very very interesting and very Hollywood-ish. Then I've got another first two books of a series and it is The Queen of the Tierling and The Invasion of the Tierling. Now these two books are super thick and very intimidating but I enjoyed them so much. I love the world and how 
how many genres were packed into this these two books it's a futuristic world but the futuristic world is medieval so they've lost all their technology and medicine and then there's also some fantasy and also in the second book you kind of get to see their past which is our future this follows this new queen and she is introduced to her kingdom and everything that comes with being a queen and also just finding herself as a leader and um making decisions for her kingdom it was very very good and if you guys love um historical fiction even though this is in the future slash history i have no idea um you will most likely love this there's also there's also a mystery, a small mystery happening, and it's just also her fighting against people that are against her kingdom and doing things bad in her kingdom. I love these first two books and I can't wait to read the third one. The next book is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I wasn't sure if I should put this book in this video because I did give it a lower rating because there were some aspects that were very crazy and hectic for me. Um, but I decided to put it in just because I love the story and I love John Green's writing style and also his characters are just so well presented and I loved their personalities. This whole story was really great. I loved it. And I also loved the representation of um, mental illness and the way that he describes it I feel was so unique. This follows a character who has OCD and a bit of anxiety and it's just her trying to cope with this and also there's a mystery happening as well <laughs> um, with this billionaire who is has gone missing I think and she also kind of she also gets kind of sucked in there but it's not very heavy on that mystery but through that investigation she meets new people um, even though I gave it a lower rating I still love this book and I I love John Green as an author and also um, the build up of getting this book was so exciting. I think I got it um, after my exams, writing my last exams or something and it's just a very happy and exciting memory in my mind getting this book so yes. The next eight books that I'm going to talk to you guys about is one of my all time favorite series definitely for sure. I love this series so much and it is the Anne of Green Gables series by Alan Montgomery. There are eight books in the series and in the month of December I read all eight and I enjoyed the story so much. I really can't stop raving about it. It's one of my favorites like I said before. This follows a character called Anne and she is actually an orphan and she is she is recently adopted by the older brother and sister who live together and at first the brother and sister actually ad wanted to adopt a boy but something got mixed up and Anne came and she changed their life completely. <laughs> Anne is just such a wonderful and creative and imaginative character. I loved following her journey from childhood to womanhood and every book in the series had something that I fell in love with and you couldn't help falling in love with the story and all the characters and the family aspect of the story was also very potent. I loved her family or her adopted family and also her neighborhood and her community spirit was just wonderful in this series. If you guys seem just a bit interested in that you have to pick it up. I love this series. I can't stop talking about it because I miss it so much. I just want to read more of her life. Then another standalone is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stefan Chabosky. This is in letter form and I found it very interesting. Um, the character itself was just trying to meet new people. He has gone through a lot and I feel like a lot of teenagers can relate to the story and things that he went through and also so just him trying to fit in and also find himself. The next two books I'm going to talk to you guys about is the first two books of a series and it is the Throne of Glass series. So it's Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. If you guys don't know yet, I love Sarah J Maas. She is one of my role models for writing. Um, I just find her writing style brilliant and I, I literally love everything she writes and this was no exception. This story just hooked me. I loved both of the books. 
they made me feel so many emotions. It follows this character called Selena, and she is this world-renowned assassin. She's a really good assassin, and she's asked to take part in this championship to find the king's assassin. So if you win this competition, you get to be the king's assassin and for a few years and then I think you get to be free. Because at the moment, at the beginning of the story, she's actually taken prisoner. She is a prisoner um, because she's assass an assassin. Um, but these two books just follow her as she tries to take part in this competition and is also introduced to this fantasy aspect of the castle. I loved these two books so much. I have the third book. I don't know why I haven't started it. I'm just waiting for the right time. Um, but I really want to pick up the third book soon. Then I've got two Nicola Yoon books to show you guys. The first one is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. This follows mainly two characters. One called Natasha who is an undocumented Jamaican and the other being Daniel who I think his family is Korean but they live in America and he is trying to live up to his father's wishes and I think he has to go to Yale because his father wants him to. And this book follows them meeting and they start talking about love at first sight and other things and this all happens in 24 hours. This was also very well written because it was sometimes in Daniel's perspective and then sometimes Natasha's perspective and then there were also other characters that you could learn more about in different chapters that were in those characters' perspectives. I just found that very unique and I really enjoyed the story and the ending was just mind-blowing. It was just a fun contemporary read. And then while I'm with Nicola Yoon, the last standalone is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I love this book. This is my favorite Nicola Yoon book. I've only read two, but this is my favorite one. I enjoyed this book so much. It is a very fast read. It just ticked all my boxes. Um, there was romance and secrets in this book and I just found it so amazing. It follows this girl who has a disease and due to this disease she is allergic to everything so she has to stay at home and she's confined to her home and then one day she gets new neighbors and they have a son called Ollie and they start to communicate. I really recommend it and there's also a movie but you have to read the book before you read the movie because the book tells you so much more than the movie actually portrays but with that, I still loved the movie. It, I felt like the movie was very, very unique and I've never seen a movie like that before. But I feel like if you read the book and then watch the movie, you understand the whole story much, much more. Then I only have series left. Another favorite contemporary series of mine is the Summer I Turned Pretty series. So the first book starts with her being 16 and she is kind of growing up. And she goes to her traditional summer house, which she goes to every single summer. And that summer house just has so many memories. It's where she fell in love first, where she was introduced to many new things. And this time she's 16 and she is also being introduced to new things. And it's just her love life and everything that happened in that summer. And also it has flashbacks to other summers. So I really love this book um, and the series as well, even though the first book is completely my favorite one of the three um, but I really recommend this series if you want a fast summary read you have to read the series then I've got a duology that I also really enjoyed reading it wasn't like my favorite favorite duology but I did love the story and I felt like I needed to put it in this video and it is the passenger duology passenger and wayfarer these two books are just filled with so much adventure and mystery and secrets and I loved it so much the first book follows this violinist who finds out she can time travel and it's just her story of how she finds herself in this predicament and her just figuring it out as the book continues these two books were just so much fun to read and I loved finding out more about the main character and everyone that she meets <sighs> and then the last series that I'm gonna talk to you guys about <laughs> I think might be my favorite series of this year. I don't know, I can't decide because I have like a favorite contemporary series and then a favorite, and then like a few favorite fantasy series, but I don't know, I, I'm very stuck on this series. 
Oh, I love the series so much. I'm going to talk about the last two books of the series and it is the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. Now, the first one I read in 2016 and I enjoyed it so much. Literally, I felt like this book was written so well. It's Sarah J Maas and I love Sarah J Maas. This really made me fall in love with her so much more. I think this was my first Sarah J Maas book actually that I read of her um, and this hooked me on to her, all her books. I loved it so much and I felt like nothing could surpass this book. It was so brilliantly written. The story was well thought out and I loved the characters so much. But then came the second book. And I found out that yes, it can get better than the first one. <laughs> so when I picked this book up, I first thought, this cannot be better than the first book. The first book was so well written. But I thought wrong and it was a really, really good book. You see characters in a new light in this book and you find out more about the history of these characters. You fall in love with characters you wouldn't think you could fall in love with and the world that Sarah J Maas created in these books developed and you could see so much more of this world in this these, this book and the last book and then also came the third book which was also really brilliantly written The Court of Wings and Ruin was also a really good book but I think it might be my least favorite of the three even though I also like loved it so much it, it was filled with adventure and mystery and just a lot of things happened in this book as well um which made me fall in love with it so much this trilogy i cannot recommend enough if you guys don't know what the series is about the first book actually is a loose retelling of beauty and the beast and this character is taken by this beast and the story kind of takes off from there i love beauty and the beast and this is a very loose retelling of beauty and the beast but you can see some aspects of it but you also get to meet these characters that you fall in love with and also this world that sarah j moss built in these books were really well thought out I really wish I could live in this world and just know the characters. Really, you will not regret reading and picking up the series. Like, I guarantee you'll love the series. So those were all my favorites of the year 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and comment down below your favorites of the year and tell me if any of my favorites are on your favorite list. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I try making videos once a week. And see you guys next time. Blub!